Hey, this is uh, Brad. I want to kind of show you uh, how to kind of look at a flip. Um, this is an actual flip that we just purchased in Orange. Really nice neighborhood. It's on a cul-de-sac. Very desirable neighborhood. It's a 300 plus thousand dollar house. So let's go inside and see what's going on. There's some deer tracks there. It's snowing a little bit, about 18 degrees. Go inside here so we can kind of, for example, this front light's got to go. It's a 70s house, so. Here's another light that has to go. Um, the front door is going to have to be painted. It's probably okay. When you're looking at a house like this, this particular one has a lot of square footage. So that's where a lot of investors get in trouble with their houses is they, is they go a lot of square footage. but. Let's start down the basement. This particular house has got a pretty good basement. So you can see that it has a semi-finished basement. We'll fur it out and uh, drywall it, but it already has all the electrical. And uh, flooring looks pretty good too. We're gonna clean it up, but looks very good. The electrical also <coughs> looks good. It needs to be um, labeled, but it looks good. When you're looking at this, this is a nice open spot. There's some lights right there. I will probably, I'm sure we're gonna change those out, fur this out, put some color in here. This, this will look really awesome. So this is a good finished basement. Now there's another room off here that, eh, use it for an office or whatever. There's not a closet in there. If you wanna make it a bedroom, I guess you could. Uh, but we're not gonna fur this out. We're gonna go ahead and just dry lock this and paint all this and put a door there. Kind of showing you what I do as I go through. This is a large house. This is going to be a little bit of a video. So, um, this particular house is uh, got a crawl space, which will will dry lock all that and uh, clean it and make sure everything's good there. The the um, heater is almost brand new on this, so that 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 looks good. It's actually a Tran, which is an excellent brand. Uh, the we we'll have to replace the uh, water heater for sure. And then we also have a newer water meter here. So not much here, dry lock, paint the floors, and we're good. Get all, all the plumbing and all that checked, of course, by a licensed uh, plumber. Let's cook here, it's got a nice big kitchen. Uh, cabinets can be astronomically expensive. So what we're gonna do on this one, it looks like it's got, but you can take this off. As you can see, those are recovered. So we can probably refinish these. And they look pretty new inside. It looks good, so we'll refinish those. Take these countertops, put granite countertops, new sink. Um, in the middle here, you have a electric range. We'll probably put a gas range there. Same thing, we'll refinish all these. Blower. We're gonna take that clean out. It gives it more room. It'll be nice. You can see they've done some plumbing repairs here as why well those are open up, so we'll have to repair all this. And the rest of it has a lot of, where the money comes is, is the paint and the, and the carpet and uh, got to remove all this drywall, or excuse me, wall, wallpaper. But nice open floor plan. This is a really big house. Then we're going to tile the entryway, tile the kitchen. Has a little family room back here that we're going to be doing. Also, laundry room right here. And uh, the garage is there. We have a family room here. We'll have to repair that. Refinish the fireplace. Make this a nice cozy place. We also, you have to watch this too because we're going to have to replace the um, sliding glass doors. Sliding glass doors can run anywhere. Th these particular ones are running around 1500 bucks. And then when you do that, th this one, they're going to look like that. But we're going to have to replace this one also so they can match. So you're looking about $1,500 to $2,000 there on that. Let's go upstairs. Again, I'm going to take this off, see what's underneath there. If it's wood, we'll refinish it. If not, we'll have to carpet it. Yeah, a little half bath down there I didn't show you. You can see they kind of went nuts with the... Home Depot carries a maintenance paint that... That you, if you you know it's cheaper than kills that's for sure and it's a better deal um, but it'll go over that acts as a primer 
And then you can put the colors in here. And we use a Sherman Williams tear decorator and paint for this. Again, these will all be carpeted, all the bedrooms. Just clean up and, you know, wallpaper. Make sure the vents are tight, cocked in nice. You can see in back there, looks, it's your neighbors. Neighborhood looks good. We're gonna have to take the tub out, put a shower there. I've never seen this particular type of tub, but it doesn't have a, a door that goes around. So we're gonna replace that. And also we're gonna refinish the vanity, but we're gonna put granite on the on the top and new flooring and new new toilet. It'll look pretty new. And then there's a little thing right here that we're gonna have to look at. And uh, maybe resurface. And just a lot more wallpaper, paint, and flooring. Nice big bedrooms though, you want to find the bedrooms. And with this particular house, it has two and a half baths, which is perfect. You want to at least see two most of the time with these houses. But this thing goes on and on. I mean, it's a nice big house for a family that wants to be here. We have good equity in this, and we'll be able to sell this for a very good price when we're done with it. We're going to paint all the doors, all new hardware. Uh, here's the other bathroom. So we're going to refinish that vanity. It's really important to be able to refinish these vanities at a quality because they can run you a lot of money, a lot of money. And the granite countertops, we'll probably take, we don't know, I don't, we may tile this shower. I'm not positive yet. Um, Refloor, of course, wallpaper, new lighting. New lighting's really a good thing. We also do new plugs and switches throughout, which upgrades it. Um, new carpet. I may tile this uh, hallway. Uh, I'm not positive on that, but I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm going to do that. All the doors have to be, hardware's got to match. Um, We've got to put a railing down there. So as you can see, there's a little bit of work here, but one thing you want to watch about these is the flooring is going to be very, you know, a little bit pricey on this one. It'll probably be around seven, eight thousand. Um, and then, you know, your paint and your labor for this square footage is a little bit pricey too. But at the end of the day, you have to make sure that you have enough equity and enough construction room. And and, and, and you know, don't don't go to the top price on an area. Stay stay a little bit below that so you have a little bit of room to play with in case you need it. So again. We're going to be teaching this in, in our IntenseRealEstate.com series. And if you're interested, if you're a realtor or if you're an investor, let me teach you the different aspects of construction. It's a, it's a little bit of a tricky game, but if, once you learn uh, my strategies and the way I do it, you'll see that uh, uh, it's very successful. It can make you a lot of money. So this is Brett. Call me at 602-363-6551. 602-363-6551.